The mangeti tree is a common African tree that grows in most parts of the two Kavango regions. It mostly grows on sandy soil naturally. In our project, we are going to extract oil from its fruits. The oil is used as cooking oil and as anti breakage relief for the hair. It can also be used to get away with dandruff. The following video is going to demonstrate the extraction of the nut from the shells to the production of the oil. Stay with us. Uh, uh, this is the first uh, process that we are going to show of removing the nuts, the mangeti nuts from the, their shells. Where are you? Uh, what she's currently doing right now is she's removing the nuts from the shells. So it's, it's, it's a very hard process. So it needs concentration, focus, otherwise, yeah, it's very risky. The shells uh, have been removed, so we can now see the nuts. So it's a very hard process, and it's still going. This is the next step. After removing the nut uh, from the shells, you roast, you roast them. So this is actually the process of roasting the nuts, the nuts. As you can as you can see right now, the, the nuts are being roasted. So it takes a little while before they are ready. So <laughs> patience is required. This is a process of now washing the nuts after roasting them, just to make sure that uh, the dust is removed and all the other dead. dead. Okay, uh, another process again. This is whereby we are uh, putting the nuts into the into the mortar. So, uh, so we start pounding, pounding. The reason for pounding is to crush down the nuts, so that uh, uh, we get the product. Making sure that everything is inside the mortar before you start crushing or pounding. They are now pounding, uh, making sure they are crushing down the nuts. This is how the end result should look like after they have been pounded. So that, that's how it should look like. After it was pounded, you mix, you mix it with water. You start stirring. You need to consider neatness. You need to wash your hands. Hygiene is important. You need to wash your hands before doing this process because it's one of the crucial processes so your hands need to be neat and very clean and the, the materials that you are using the bucket as well need to be clean after mixing water to the uh, product itself you now pour the paste into the pot this is this is also one of the crucial uh, steps where you need to be very careful you need to be very careful, as you can see now, the paste the, the, the paste is now poured into the pot so that the hard particles should remain in the bucket because it's no more needed. The paste is now poured into the pot. Concentration is important. You need to focus. Now this is the <laughs> final solution. Uh, it's going to be uh, cooked into the final product now itself. We hope you enjoyed our video.